Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the display resolution and scaling on your macOS device. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. So the way this sort of works will depend on the version on, of macOS you're on and also what type of display you're using. Um, so if you're using an Apple display, it will show differently to, for example, if you're using a non-Apple display. Uh, but I'll try and show both of those options to you today. So to adjust the resolution or scaling of your device, um, what you can do is go to System Preferences or macOS Ventura. It will be called System Settings. And on macOS Ventura, all your options will be down the left-hand side like it is on iOS. So if you're trying to find displays, you can scroll down and find it. Or you can type in the search box to find the displays options. But on macOS Monterey and older, it will look like this. Now then what you can do is click on displays here. It's sort of on the right-hand side of the settings page. And you'll see it opens a page similar to this. So this gives you some basic controls about your display settings here um, but what you can do is for resolution you can set it either default for display which is what I'd recommend for most people but if you're finding that the text is too small or it's not displaying correctly what you can do is set it to scaled now um, what this scale will do is it will let you choose a custom resolution um, that you want to use um, that will suit your display so um, this is a 1080p monitor, so it'll obviously look different if you've got 4K and things like that. You'll have more options, but for me, 1080p is the highest resolution I can run this at, and then I can go lower from there. So if I want to make things bigger, I can click down here and make it lower, and if I want to show all the resolutions, you can see that here I can um, set all the resolutions. Now, I'm not actually going to click through these because it will stop the screen recording. Um, but what you can do is you can click through them, choose one that you like. If the computer thinks it's not going to display um, objects on the screen correctly, it will alert you and it will warn you that it may not um, work properly for all system applications. So um, if it says that, I'd probably recommend steering clear of that resolution. But... It's really just a bit about experimenting around and trying to um, adjust uh, what the sizing of everything on the screen is like. Now you can also change the color profile, refresh rate and rotation settings while you're in this pane as well. So this is what it looks like if you have a non-Apple display connected. Um, so this is an LG monitor, as you can see here, which is connected to my Mac Mini. Now if you've got a genuine Apple display. Um, I'm going to flick over to a screen recording to show you what that looks like because um, that will demonstrate what it'll ha happen um, if you've got a normal Apple display because it has a slightly different user interface. So I'll switch over to that now. All right, so now we're on my MacBook here. Um, so this has a built-in retina display. So this will show you what the scaling options look like if you are using a um, built-in Apple display or an Apple Studio display or Pro Display XDR. Any of those things, uh, even an iMac display, will show it like this. So we'll go back to displays on this computer. And because it's a MacBook, I've got it plugged into my LG monitor as well here for the purposes of this screen recording. Um, but you can see we've got the built-in retina display here. So if we click on display settings... Um, you'll see here that it's showing the uh, LG display first. So you'll see that if you're on scaled, it will show the same sort of menu that I showed you before on the Mac Mini. Um, however, if we go to the built-in retina display and we click scaled, we've got a bit of a different user interface. So we've got options for the default. Um, we could go and it shows you what that um, looks like or what the resolution is. So... Uh, 1280 by 800, that's what that resolution looks like. If we go larger text, um, it says using a scaled resolution may affect performance. 
and it says this one looks like 1024 by 640. We could go a bit smaller, which looks like 1440 by 900, or even more space, and that's 1680 by 1050. So you've got sort of a linear scale here of the options you can choose. Um, different built-in retina displays will have different scaling options. So the newer 14 and 16-inch MacBook Pros have even a couple more options than this. Um, so it all just depends on what display you're using and what Mac you're on and all that. But they're the two main UI um, looks that you get on uh, Mac OS. Now, I'm pretty sure that Mac OS Big Sur is what introduced this new user interface. Anything older than that um, will all look like this no matter what display you use. So just be aware of that. If you're on Mac OS Catalina or older, it will look like this, even if you have a normal Apple display. So just make sure you're aware of that when you're following this tutorial. But other than that, um, that's pretty much everything to do with the display resolution and scaling on Mac OS. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or concerns about this guide, because um, I'm more than happy to help you out if you have any questions for me and also let me know any video suggestions down in the comments below because I'm more than happy to make those videos if you would like to see them. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Hopefully it was helpful and you've had some good success being able to change the resolution and scaling on your macOS device. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.